Well, hello folks, and today I'm going to tell you a story. And the, the theme of it is, trust your gut. Trust your gut. Now, what does that even mean? Well, when you dig into the science of all of these things, that we have, um, we have a, a head brain, we have a heart brain, and we have a gut brain. And so they all function with an interconnectedness. And here's a classic example. You're watching a quiz show and you've got multiple choice options. Straight away you get an insight that's one of the answers. Now that will be your gut instinct telling you that it is that. You don't got no idea why. You've got no idea where it came from. Um, but then the longer you think about it, you might get your head talk you out of it. And then when the real answer is revealed, you find out, oh, you picked the wrong answer, but your gut was right in the first place. Um, probably more appropriate um, analogy for this, folks, is when you meet someone for the first time. And it might be a great, nice, warm introduction from someone else. It might be your other half has introed these people in. You might meet them. They might come highly recommended, but there's something that feels not right and you ignore it because everyone around you is saying, oh, they're brilliant, what great person, blah, blah, blah. And then a few weeks, months, years down the line, you find out that your initial um, thought on the subject turns out to be completely right. Um, it could be a con person, could be, um, could be a narcissist, could be a psychopath, sociopath, could be somebody um, that rinses you um, or leaves you empty at the end of it. And right when you met them in the first place, your gut told you something wasn't right and you ignored it. And before you beat yourself up about this, folks, everyone I know has made this mistake, including me multiple times. Being an empath, um, I always believe that people are innocent till proven guilty. And the amount of times I have been ripped off, conned, shafted, because I trusted someone and I didn't trust my gut. So I'm going to plant this seed with you today, folks, that your gut is so important. And if you meet someone for the first time and something doesn't feel right, then trust it, trust it. Doesn't mean be an arsehole to the person that you're speaking to. No, you don't have to, but proceed with caution, proceed with um, don't go all in. If they're offering you a financial scheme or something that's too good to be true, proceed with caution, folks. Find an excuse not to do it. Trust your gut, because your gut will always steer you in the right direction. And the more that you get to trust it, and this tends to be something that happens later in life, you trust it more when you get burned a few times. But your gut has a mind of its own. It has a process of its own and your head doesn't necessarily always agree with it. So the more that you tune into this and trust your gut, the easier life will be.